This video has been requested a lot of times and I'm really happy that I understood how to share this information in a really simple way. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create carousels for Instagram, but not just any kind of carousel. We will learn how to create a seamless carousel panorama for Instagram. This is the kind of carousel that when you swipe to see the next image, it looks like it is everything just one image. It looks like the carousel is stitched together. You can follow this tutorial if you have a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account. I'm also going to show you an app different than Canva that we need to use to create these carousels. So stay until the end of this video to discover this app. Hey guys, my name is Diana and I am a Canva certified creative and also an online instructor. If this is your first time visiting our channel, I strongly suggest you subscribe because we have new tutorials every week and remember to hit the bell button to receive a notification every time we upload a new video. All right, are you ready to learn how to create an incredible seamless carousel panorama for Instagram? If you are, let's jump into Canva. Okay, here we are in my Canva homepage, but before starting to create this design, I suggest you guys take a paper and a pencil and start taking note of all the content that you want to share in this carousel. So this will help you understand how many pages you actually need uh, to create this carousel. So for this example, I will create a four slide uh, carousel and to make everything easier, I will use a square format. So because I already know that I want to have four pages and every page needs to have the same size, I will use uh, 1000 pixels per slide or per side. So that means that the width will be 1000 times four, so 4000, and the height will be 1000 pixels. Okay, so create new design and this will generate a very long format uh, design. Okay, so this is perfect. And now I want to show you guys a cool trick that is really new in Canva and it is this. You go here to file and you show rulers and then show guides. This is super new. So many users have been asking for this for a long time and Canva finally brought it to us. So this is uh, really exciting and we are going to test it out today. So the guides are really important in this uh, design creation because we need to understand where the slide is ending and where <laughs> the other slide is beginning, right? So uh, I will create one guide here by just clicking and dragging my mouse. And because I know that each slide will be 1000 by 1000, I will try to uh, situate this guide into 1000. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to put it into the exact uh, number of pixels, but it's not, uh, we don't need to put it in the exact pixel. So I think that's okay. Next one, uh, I will situate this one in the 2000 and the other one in 3000. So like this, it's easier for me to understand where to situate or to position my elements along this design. So as you imagine, I'm going to create just one piece of image and then afterwards I'm going to split it into four. So that's why I need these lines. I need to understand where um, uh, the text or the important information needs to be situated in order for, for it not to be cut in the middle and that people can read and understand all the messages that you want to provide in each slide. Okay, so now that we have uh, like our base ready, we are going to start designing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to start adding some elements to the to the page and the first element that I'm going to search is for line and 
I will need to scroll down until I find the exact um, element that I need. And this is the one that I'm looking for. So let's click here on the three buttons. And now I'm going to click here where it says view more. And then again, I'm going to type here line. I'm doing this because I want to have all these elements. You see, like we have the same style of line, but in different shapes. So I want to have them here uh, easy to access. Let's say I want to be able to just drag them instead of scrolling, scrolling down to find all these elements. Okay, so the first element is this one that has like this U shape, kind of like this snake shape, let's say. And I'm going to make it big like this. And what I want to do uh, or the effect that I would like to achieve with this um, line is that I want this line to be visible in the third slide and the fourth, the last slide. So it will be something like this. And then I think I want to use this one that I'm going to position in a place where we can see it in the first slide, but also in the second slide. So it can be something like this. We see it in the first slide and also in the second one. And then finally, let's add another one that will go in the first slide only. So I'm positioning these lines in very specific places because I want people to feel uh, the sense of unity when they are scrolling um, in this carousel, right? So that's why I'm positioning these lines in these specific uh, places. And now what I'm going to do is to actually uh, start adding some elements to make this carousel even cooler. <laughs> I want this design to be uh, very eye-catching. So I think I can achieve this by adding the right colors. So I was thinking that maybe for the background, I will use a purple. So we have here, you see the default colors. Let's add this purple. It's kind of like a bluish purple. And um, actually, let me try to make it less saturated and i'm dragging this uh, color picker to the left just a tiny bit to get this perfect purple <laughs> and finally let's add some different colors to the lines i will use the pink color and instead of orange i will use another purple so like this and now I'm going to use the copy style and apply the same style to the other lines now I'm going to add two of my photos I have them already um, ready here in my folder I have already uploaded these photos into Canva and as you can see the photos that I'm going to use in this design they have a white silhouette you can see here it's kind of like a white outline and if you don't know how to create this effect in Canva I will leave a tutorial right here that is going to help you with that and okay let's continue with this creation here and what I'm going to do is to position this photo right here and I just remember that if you uh, don't have this kind of pictures or like professional pictures of yourself uh, you can also follow one of our courses on Skillshare in which we teach you how to take these professional photos without a professional studio so you can actually take these photos with your smartphone and edit them in Canva so I will leave the link in the description of this video if you are interested in learning how to um, create or uh, take these photos of yourself with just a smartphone okay so uh, let's continue uh, with this uh, carousel and what I'm going to do now 
is that I'm going to apply a filter to these images, this one here called streets and I will just copy the style onto this other image. I really like how these photos are looking with this um, black and white effect because it has an interesting contrast with the color in the background. Okay, and now we are just missing a couple of uh, text boxes that we are going to position in each slide. So I will do this really quick. I will use one font uh, for the titles and another font for the text body or the little description that I'm going to add in each uh, slide. And I'm going to add also a couple of images or icons that is going to make these slides or this carousel pop. The last thing that I want to show you, it is a website. Actually, I'm going to Google and I'm going to search Lorem Ipsum. Okay, so I will use this website right here because I want to use a random text here in the description of these uh, slides for you to remember, oh, here I can position my description, but in this case, I don't have anything ready to uh, write on these text boxes. So I will use this Lorem Ipsum. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you a little trick that I like to use sometimes, and it is to apply some text in the background to add a dimension to this design and something interesting. But in this case, I don't have a text ready and I'm going to use this Lorem Ipsum that I just used. I'm going to copy. You can also use this button actually to copy the text. And then uh, I will just copy this title and paste the text right here. What I'm going to use is that I, yes, I will change the alignment so it is uh, justified. It looks uh, aligned to the left and also to the right. And I will shrink this text box so we can see a part of the text on the second slide, on the third slide, of course, and a little bit on the fourth slide. So you see the lines or the guidelines are here and here. And finally, what I'm going to do is to position this text box to the back and uh, add some transparency, actually a lot of transparency like this. So I'm just trying to find an effect in which we have some texture into this design, but also is not interfering with the other elements in this design. So I want people to really be able to read this text but to see kind of something in the background, something going on there. And yeah, this is already to the back. We are going to add just one little element. You can leave your carousel just like this, but I want to use something uh, that you can actually use only if you have a Canva Pro account. So if you have it, you can use it. If you don't have a Canva Pro account, just let it be like this or use a free arrow. In this case, I'm going to photos and I will type arrow paper here we have. So I really like this element because it has shadow and it looks like paper, like real paper. So I think it can add a different, like a cool effect to this design. And I will shrink it so we can see a part of this arrow in the second slide, but also in the third slide. And guys, we are halfway through this tutorial and I wanted to take a second to remind you that you can find a ton of tutorials on this channel. And I am not the only one teaching on this channel. You will also find Ronnie. He loves to bring amazing tricks that we can do in Canva to become better and faster designers. You can watch one of his latest videos by clicking on the banner right here. And that is if you want to take your Canva skills to another whole new level. 
which I strongly recommend you do and don't forget to subscribe because we have videos like this one every week and now I'm going to show you the app that we are going to use to cut this image in order for us to create our carousel into Instagram so here we have this app called Panorama Crop for Instagram this app will be available for Android users I have an Android phone so this is the one that I use and it has been working really well until now and that's why I'm showing this app to you and I know that many people that are watching this video are going to be asking hey Diana but I have an iPhone uh, I cannot find this app into the Apple store or iStore I don't even know how you call it well I have this app for you App Store you call it okay so this one is called Unsquared for Instagram and I don't have an iPhone so I haven't tried this app but I googled it and I found this one it has 4.7 stars and 2,000 uh, almost 3,000 ratings and it is free so that's why I'm suggesting you uh, this app and I hope it works fine <laughs> on your iPhone so let me know in the comments if you have an iPhone and it worked for you I'm really curious to know and if you also have another app that you are already using it will be amazing if you can also recommend that other app for iPhone or for Android to the other people who are watching this tutorial so see you in the comments okay so now that we have our carousel ready we are going to download this as a PNG it can be a PNG or a JPEG in this case I'm going to download it as PNG and if you have a Canva Pro account I will suggest you go 1.5 or 2 times the size because this will help your design to have more definition or at least that's what I think so let's download this and I will transfer this design or this image to my phone and now I'm on the Panorama Crop app that I just told you about and we are going to select the first option that says new swipeable post so let's click here and now I will have access to the images I have on my phone so I have my carousel right here and the app is already uh, suggesting to cut this image into four and this is perfect because I have four slides so let's click here on this uh, check icon and you will be able to view how your carousel is going to look so if we swipe to the left you will see that we have this seamless panorama effect on this carousel which is amazing and I don't know about you but I really like this design let me know in the comments if you like this design that I created with you guys and now the final step is to click again on the check icon and it says cropping image uh, you will see an ad let's just close it and we already have these images into our gallery so now you open your Instagram and click on this icon that is kind of like two squares or one square behind the other one and this will allow you or it gives you the ability to include more than one image into your post so basically this will give you the option to create a carousel so you just select your four images or all the images that you selected for this carousel and then you will just click next and post your carousel into your Instagram and you can actually preview here your carousel before posting and if you want to change the uh, order of your slides because you select the wrong order you can just select one of the images and position it into the right order and you are ready to publish this carousel okay guys i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial it took me a long time to find the best way to share this in a simple way and in this channel we really love sharing and we have a lot of videos that i'm sure you will love you can check out one of these videos right here and you can also decide to support us by subscribing to our channel by clicking on this little button right here and that's it for now i wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next tutorial
बाय